What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about what you should be learning if you wanted to get into the data science field. So if you're trying to break into the field, there's definitely going to be a period of time where you're trying to learn all of the skills you need to know and definitely studying a lot. So data science is a very technical field. So I've broken it down to about three different sections of things that you should be studying. And the first one is your technical skills. The best language for you to be learning right now is Python. It's actually the most widely used language in the data science world and it's only going to keep growing. To learn Python, I'd recommend that if you've never coded before, you've never done any technical work like that, that you should ta first take an online course, kind of like Python for beginners. There's many on Coursera, EDX. If you just start taking a course to learn the basics, because it's very important that you learn the basics in kind of a structured format. And then after you learn those basics and you take that course, then you can start doing other side projects and start taking that knowledge and expanding on that. Because you really start learning the language when you start working with it. So definitely start working on your own projects, go to Kaggle, and then you'll find many data sets there, many sample projects. Because coding is a skill and you learn by doing, so you really gotta start doing it. And the other language you're gonna need to know is SQL. All data professionals work with SQL. So for SQL, it might be a little more difficult because you, it's, it's a lot harder to just do your own project in SQL. You probably won't unless you have access to a database. But for that, you might actually just have to take a course and be done with it. And from my experience, SQL is actually one of those things that companies will hire you even if you don't have as much experience because they know you're going to learn it on the job and they probably will have faith with you to learn it on the job. And the other language you could learn also is R just to keep your possibilities open. I actually work with R pretty exclusively just for my current position right now. My pretty much mo the majority of my day is coding in R my favorite language but the reason I'm saying learn Python is because Python is becoming more popular it's just that my job specifically they purchase our studio server so they have a lot of processing power behind that so everything's run through R so if you want to learn R uh, more power to you definitely maybe take a course start doing projects and that learn it like you would learn Python also but just know it's probably better to focus more on learning Python than R at this point Next up is probably everybody's least favorite, mathematical skills. And the good thing about this is I would also learn some concepts that I'll go over in a sec, but you honestly don't need to focus too much effort into learning mathematical concepts. Like I don't want to see you sitting there going over your Calc 3 notes trying to derive integrals by hand. So when I'm saying going over mathematical concepts, the first thing you need to go back over is like basic statistics. Like I'm literally talking like mean, median, mode type stuff like that. And I'm actually going to reference an article on Medium that talks about what math you need to know for data science interviews and to be a data scientist in general. And the first one is back to basic statistics, like basic summaries and descriptive statistics, variance, covariance and correlation. Go back to your stat notes and go back to things relating to the bell curve and normal distribution, uniform distribution. All of everything related to that is going to be very important. Basic probability, yes, this is where it's going to start to get a little more difficult. Bayes theorem, conditional probability, start reviewing that or if you've never learned it, start understanding what it is. Like I said again, you really don't, you don't have to pull out a pencil and start doing Bayes theorem by hand, but just kind of know what they are and how you would use them if you were ever needing to do some sort of statistical test. Go back and look at hypothesis testing, A-B testing, confidence intervals, p-values, and then go back to linear regression, of course, y equals mx plus b, because I think 80% of machine learning algorithms is linear regression, y equals mx plus b, so go back, learn that, learn how it's calculated. And other terms you should look up, sampling, measurement, error, ANOVA and t-tests, and regularization. So once you get those down, that's a lot, that's a lot of what you will be needing to know. And speaking from personal experience, the most valuable things you can know is probably those probability distributions, normal distribution, uniform, chi-squared, chi-squared, whatever. Chi-squared, chi-squared, whatever, one goes like this. <laughs> and lastly, back to math is you should definitely be learning linear algebra. Hopefully you took that as a class, but that's actually very important. Especially eigenvalues, eigenvectors, just 
know the know the basics about um, linear algebra because it does come up a lot. It's actually uh, very big in principal component analysis, which is something you'll probably be doing if you're doing a lot of unsupervised learning. You probably already have been looking at different resources telling you what to learn, and probably all of them say learn calculus. Um, look, if you're trying to get a job, don't be sitting there trying to learn calculus if you don't already know it. From my experience, I really don't use calculus, like, at all, really. If you're gonna look up, if you're gonna learn something in calculus, definitely look up gradient descent, because that comes up a lot. But other than that, I mean, I have not seen one dang integral or anything like that. So with the amount of stuff that you're gonna be studying, I, I would say put calculus on the back burner. You probably already took a calculus class in school or something like that. That'll be fine. You know, if you if you really want to go read over your notes again, but seriously, don't don't be spending hours and hours every day trying to do calculus. And that should be a relief to some of you. <laughs> the most of you, maybe all of them. Last and certainly not least, probably the most fun part is learning about machine learning. So when you're studying machine learning algorithms, I would start with the shallow learning algorithms first, which would be like linear regression, SVMs, random forest, gradient boosted models, and get a firm understanding of how each one of those works. If I was going to go in depth and tell you which ones to learn, I'd definitely learn about linear regression, multivariate regression that won't take that won't take very long, and then you can also learn about polynomial regression, but once you once you understand regression, it's Pretty, they're pretty much all very, very similar. And then start with decision trees and random forests because those are very popular and very common. And you'll probably be using them a lot because they're very explainable algorithms too. They're not black box models. You can get visual outputs of what actually is happening to the data when it's going through the model. And then once you learn about decision trees, start learning about gradient boosted models, which is optimize decision trees. Look at XGBoost, which is probably the best shallow learning algorithm out right now. And then there's other boosted models that I still need to look into like CatBoost and LightBoost and other, other types of boosted models that have been performing great. And then once you're done with that, then you can start going into deep learning. Now what I don't want you to do is act like deep learning is the most important thing that you need to know because it's really not. It's on the same level as everything else that I was talking about. I know it's fancy, it's artificial intelligence, it's what everybody wants to learn, but refrain from just diving into deep learning and not learning any of the other skills that you need to know. So when you are learning deep learning, definitely, definitely take an actual structured course about it. The one I took was actually on EDX, I'll flash it right here. Now, I will say though that the course that I'm linking it's, I think it's like a 40 hour courses. And if you're trying to get an entry level job, don't, don't allocate 40 hours just to a deep learning course, because there's gonna be a lot more important things that you're gonna to need to know that are gonna be more helpful in getting that entry level data science job. But if you're already in data and you're trying to like specifically get into deep learning stuff, then by all means, keep studying that stuff or take one of those courses. But if you're trying to learn coding and you're trying to learn math concepts, don't don't allocate so much time to learning deep learning. You know, kind of work on everything evenly. Because deep learning is very, very difficult and you can get caught up in there pretty easily. So just kind of understand, I guess, how neural networks work. That understanding that alone will take some time. So make sure that you're not dedicating too much time just to learning about deep learning stuff. So I know when you're learning about all these models, one of the most important things you're gonna to need to know is how to score each model, the difference between scoring regression models and classification models, and scoring time series models is gonna be a little bit different too. And bonus, I got two more tips for you, two more things that you should learn to help you do well in your data science position. Number one is learning how to communicate. Honestly, I think I learned how to communicate from actually working in sales, but you should definitely not work in sales if you're trying to get a job in data science. But definitely start just kind of reading articles, learning how to communicate more effectively. One of the biggest things that helped me is just slowing down when you're talking. A lot of times people rush through what they're talking about, but just 
Read articles about how to communicate better, make eye contact, start looking up tips to make yourself a more effective communicator. Because if you can communicate effectively, people will trust you more. You'll be able to advance a lot quicker in your job. And a big part about being a data scientist is communicating the results. And you're going to have to give a lot of business insights and business direction too. And lastly, side tip, learn your industry. If you're trying to get into a specific industry, like let's say you're trying to do data science for finance, learn that industry. Learn about markets and financial economics and things like that also. If you're trying to get into sports science, learn more about sports specific modeling and just about the industry that you're working in because you're going to be handling all their data and a big part of being a good data scientist is understanding of the relations in the data and you're not gonna understand any relations if you don't understand the industry. So that wraps this up. So this video is the what you need to learn. I didn't go in depth with much, but that is what you need to learn. And I am going to releasing more videos that kind of show how to actually learn them. Where can you take these courses? What courses are the best? And giving you tips on how to actually learn that. So stay tuned for that and for now, deuces.